Breaking right now at noon, five people are dead in Watauga County after a standoff ended just 12 hours ago. This includes two deputies and the suspect. The sheriff's office says Sergeant Chris Ward died after being flown to the hospital for treatment. K-9 Deputy Logan Fox was the second deputy killed. The sheriff's office said he died at the scene. We are also learning a Boone police officer was shot but is going to be okay because the bullet hit his Kevlar helmet. Fox 46 is bringing you live team coverage right now. Both Destiny McKeever and Robin Kennedy are in Watauga County. We start with Destiny McKeever from the sheriff's office. Destiny, I know you just heard from the sheriff. What did he have to say about losing two of his own? You know, Paige, he was very emotional speaking with us, saying that this is just such a hard time. Also, he says that he appreciates the outpouring of support that came from the community. You can see here where there are many flowers as well as candles in this makeshift memorial that has been set up right outside of the Watauga County Sheriff's Office. There were five people total killed and two deputies, the two homeowners and the shooter. The sheriff confirms the shooter was the homeowner's adult son. Sergeant Chris Ward and K-9 deputy Logan Fox were the two deputies killed. And there was also another officer from an assisting department hit by a bullet. He had on protective gear to keep him safe. So the sheriff says he's very thankful for that. But the sheriff saying he's appreciative of the outpouring of support from all of the community members and all of the surrounding agencies who stepped in to help with this. This has been such a critical time for this department. We are also just getting new information in by the minute, but the big question remains this afternoon. Why did this all happen? because of a welfare check. Investigators are still working to find out that information. And of course, as we get more information coming into our newsroom, we will bring it to you live right here on Fox 46. Reporting live from Watauga County, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46. And right now we have pictures from the scene you'll only see here on Fox 46. These photos courtesy of Bonnie Burton. She lives close to where this standoff happened. She says it was a very emotional day for everyone in the community. Everybody knows everybody involved, and um, so it's just this community is like I feel like I'm repeating what everyone else says in this kind of situation. But this community is strong. This neighborhood is full of of good people, and we will rally around the ones who have been so hurt by this as best we can. And Fox 46's Robin Kennedy continues our live team coverage. Right now, that road's still blocked off at the home where the standoff happened. Robin, uh, what are you seeing out there? Page emotions running very high in the neighborhood here today. We saw one woman driving away from this neighborhood this morning. She was in tears, and then another woman was just too upset to speak with us. Now, crime scene tape still up here at the end of Chapel Hills Road. From this vantage point, we can see a line of law enforcement vehicles, but we can't make out the actual house where the standoff went down. Let's take a look now at some videos video from earlier of those investigator cars lining Hardeman Circle. Just before 10 yesterday morning, the Watauga County Sheriff's Office's deputies came here to a home because they got a call that the homeowner did not show up for work. When they got inside, deputies say they believe Sergeant Chris Ward and K-9 Deputy Logan Fox were ambushed by the suspect. Both deputies were killed, and investigators believe the suspect also killed his parents. A Boone police officer was also hit by gunfire, but as you heard, his gear kept him from getting hurt. Now, the standoff lasting for hours. Listen to what neighbors had to deal with locked down in their homes. I got it on my phone. Yes, is a message on the phone that said, uh, please stay indoors uh, and lock your doors because there's a crime scene, uh, but the officials are getting to it real quickly and, and uh, they're taking care of it. What was going through your mind when you got that? Uh, I was kind of scared because I didn't know where the crime was taking place. So I was a little bit scared. It's pretty bad because I admire all the deputies here and the, the deputies and the policemen I have a lot of admiration for. 
Now, deputies keeping us back this morning, but this is the view from our vantage point of those law enforcement vehicles lining Hardeman Circle. One of the deputies told me the State Bureau of Investigation is out here. Now, the Watauga County Sheriff's Office has not told us how the suspect died. They also have not released the name of the suspect or his parents. We'll continue to keep you updated on any new details we get. I'm live in Watauga County. Robin Kennedy, Fox 46.